So it's Dizzy, the Lorax here. Um, don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell. Um, see more videos, so. Yeah, I'm in a hospital, kind of hooked up pretty severely here. Um, monitor keeps. I'm just gonna silence that really quick. All right. Um, so this is what I have. I have myocarditis. Myocarditis. Sorry, it's backwards. Uh, basically, it's just an inflammation of my heart, um, which acts like a heart attack. Um, so it gives heart attack symptoms and can lead to minor heart attacks, but it's not a heart attack at first. It's just like the first step. And just the normal sickness altogether can actually like wake it up. So I just had the bug, um, slight headache, little stomach pain. And when I was done, I actually got this. I woke up with pressure in my chest, like someone was standing on it. Then it went to my shoulders. Then my jaw started to cramp up and I just didn't feel like moving. Uh, I started to get a little blurry and I was like, yeah, I gotta go to the hospital. I started getting unbearable. I cried a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I got here to Crozier and Chester hospital taking good care of me um this is actually the third time now or my mom said it might be the fourth time i've gotten this so it's uh, unfortunate for me i'm just one of those rare cases that's uh just normal sickness can wake it up and it can give me heart attack like symptoms and it can lead to a minor heart attack so obviously i as soon as I feel anything in my chest, I rush to the hospital on um, both times. I remember college and then four years ago and then today, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, Stephanie took me here as quick as possible. We left Atlas at home. You know, she's pregnant, so she's super mom in it. Um, and yeah, so they um, gave me some morphine, take the pain away. Felt amazing, obviously. Didn't heal me though, but now I'm on this hero pen which is a blood thinner because they don't want, like I said, it could lead to um, a heart attack, but um, it's the blood thinner rule, you know, thins the blood so it doesn't clot. So they want to make sure that it doesn't lead to a heart attack. So they just got me on that. And an antibiotic, is it crowmethazine? Crowatine? I don't know, I'm saying it wrong. Crow something. And it, um... It basically is uh, anti-inflammatory so, uh, for the heart in particular. So it's definitely been working. Uh, I'm going to be in the hospital for a few days, get monitored. I've had EKGs, x-rays. I've had, um, I forgot what it is that women get when they're pregnant on their stomachs to see the baby. But I had to get that multiple days. Hold on. Sorry, I had to cut it off. Uh, the nurse came in. We're not really allowed to record the employees for, you know, suing purposes. I would assume people try to sue certain nurses and doctors, even though they're trying to help out, which is ridiculous. So, yeah, unfortunately, I can't tell you who are the heroes who are literally saving my life, which kind of sucks. Maybe off the record, I could tell you. So if you come to Crozier and Chester, PA, you can know exactly who to talk to, but... You know, as far as video purposes go, they're not, um, you know, they're not allowed to say, I, you know, I'm not allowed to record them and all that jazz, which kind of sucks. Um, but where I was going was, um, yeah, so I'm going to be here a couple of days. They're going to keep checking on me. I fit cardiologists. I got a, it's a new thing just because this is the third heart issue I've had. Well, the same heart issue I've had um, before 30. Um... I'm 28 and I shouldn't have had this many heart issues this, this quick. So I have to see a cardiologist every year, possibly twice a year. So that's fantastic that I have that now. Um, so pre preventative care uh, for my body. Um, more checkups. So 
whatever. So I'll have to basically be seen by a doctor slash cardiologist two to four times a year. You know, typically it's like once. I did fart in the background. I've been farting a whole heck of a lot. So I'm going to go up to the room. I've been down here. I'm getting taken care of by these nice ladies and gents. And I'm going to go upstairs. Like, um, they're going to put me on some type of willy so I can move around here. Um, and yeah, just been slugging back some water. Um, I had some, Stephanie brought me some food um, to eat. And yeah, we're just waiting. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. I'll let you know how it goes. So I've officially been transported to the new room. This is my little thing now, much smaller. Look how big this room. Much room, little place to look out the window. Third floor. Um, so yeah, um, drugs are starting to wear off. So you may not see from, see or hear from me until uh, I get back on. I don't want to see you. <clears throat> I don't want you guys to see me in the fetal position at all. Oh boy, they don't really want me getting up and moving around that much. But it has everything you need to survive. Long story short, that's everything I need in here. Nice. And that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty dope. I'm about to get these put on me. You set. Uh, they gave me hella pillows. So, yeah, I'm walking around my little thing, so, yeah, should be pretty cool. Um, but besides that, Steph, you'll be back in the morning, um, because my charger kind of sucks, but you can look at this view. It's pretty cool, so... Yeah, um, I'm gonna get some food soon. I'll show you that in a second, uh, what, what that looks like. I'll get some food um, to eat. We'll go from there. All right, so I got here at uh, probably 8 a.m. Um, man, there's a whole lot going on. I just had my Second needle stick. This is getting really, really unfun. And uh, the only thing that's playing is Lifetime movies. So uh, I guess they're gonna be sticking me a bunch more. So, I don't think I'm actually gonna get any rest. They said they're on hour rotations. So, I guess they're gonna come check on me every hour and wake me up and make sure I'm still alive. So, I'm gonna be getting roughly, if they talking to them, hanging out with them, it's gonna be roughly 10 minutes. Um, going back to sleep is gonna take 10 minutes. So, roughly 40 minutes every hour, probably for the next two or three days. <sighs> but whatever, whatever keeps me healthy and alive, right? Whatever keeps me healthy and alive. And there we are. Not even nine o'clock yet. So here we are. Um, new nurse switch over now. Oh, boy. Um, and I took blood out of my hand in my more unusual spot. Let me get rid of this. Let me just rip this off. All right, take that off. No need for that. Just get rid of that. Trash. But yeah, I took blood out of my hand. And I have this strip on. Hopefully I can take it off. I feel like it's going to get uncomfortable after a while. But go back to life. People keep calling me. I'm calling them. It's good that they call the check in now. Hmm. Sorry, it's been a while. My phone checked. It died, so I'm gonna take this off. My phone did die. I'm back to life. There's a little anchor. 
Blessing. The other charger was absolute garbage. That's my fault. I should have not brought that charger here. I should have known it was garbage. But you see I'm moving around. Feeling much better. Pain medication's wearing off, so jaw starting to hurt. So I'm not gonna be on here for long once again so you don't see me in pain. But yeah, so uh bad news. Uh I do have to take a shower. Let me just show you. Hold on. Let me show you how I have to do this. Using this, so I have to shower in my sink. I got some antiperspirant. Anti. I got some body wash, baby shampoo. Wash my hair and uh, some lotion. And these are my washcloths, which is, I don't really care too much about that, but I have to use the sink because I can't take these things off of my body um, because they need to know if something happens with my part. And I can't take this thing out. Oh my goodness, don't let it get kinked. Can't take this thing out of my arm. Um, or this machine. So I gotta just take a shower at the sink. Um, okay, so what, we're gonna try and bring some of this. <laughs> bring some of this stuff in. And into, oh boy, the shower. Okay, just roll this with us. Um, into the, sorry, the bathroom, which is over here. And, uh, this is it. This, this is my shower, unfortunately. I will, um, hmm. So, this is what I'll do. There we go. The trash can sideways. I hope those are flushable. But I'm gonna... I brushed my teeth this morning. Gave me a little... Oh, my hand's in the way. Sorry, I'm looking disheveled in all types of ways. Um, sparkle Fresh. I brushed my teeth. And this is how I'm gonna shower now. So I will let you see me shower because this is gonna be quite interesting. I gotta avoid all this mechanical stuff, um, electronical stuff. I guess not really mechanical, it is mechanical. So you're gonna see me do this, oh boy. All right, so I gotta unfasten myself. Oh dear goodness. Un uh, I tied, I'm, I'm, I'm tied up. All right, hold on. Get it? I'm tied up. I cracked myself up. All right. I'm trying to undo this. Am I close? Did I get it? Yay. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. I probably actually, I can't even put a t-shirt on. I, I'm going to show you. I did bring some clothes. But I don't think that I'm going to be able to. How far can this stretch? Just can't. Even, that's the furthest it stretches. I'm gonna have to wash it from here. Okay. Oh Christ Almighty! This thing breaks and I die. So you can. I'm doing well. Yeah. Okay. This number is really getting low, scaring me. Yeah, 64. 64, all right. That's where I'm at, 65. All right. Um, gosh. So I'm gonna, I guess I have to, this, I mean, if you could imagine, I haven't showered in a while, so I smell pretty bad. I mean, 
Um, but I brought some clothes with me. I'm real, I could only use the pants. I'm not really going to be able to change the top part of my body. Actually, we could take this off. everything up first and you're gonna see me do everything uh, oh. washing my hair first um, God damn. so you know what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna use my shirt to dry off so I'm actually gonna put my shirt on um, uh, now I have to wear the gown but this way, these things won't get wet. And then I'm just gonna wet my hair up a little bit. There we go. So I was taking a dump in the bathroom and I couldn't, I don't know if I already said this, I couldn't tell if the smell was me or the dump. So, and as a grown man with kids, I cannot, can't be out in public. Smelling like this. That's right. By the way, I am having a little baby boy. Yay. So, um, I will be, I will be able to put that S, that plural, on those kids. Yeah. So, there we go. I'm just trying to, my hair is all matted and whatnot. And, uh, alright. Some, this is shampoo and body wash um, at the same time. Get some in there. You see it? Let's get some in my hair. Can't be. There you go. Look at that. Got to wash up. This way I can shower uh, and smell. Like a person while I'm waiting for my minor operation. Very minor. Very minor, don't worry. I'm just gonna get my heart looked at and they might put some some dyes in my heart so that way um, I can uh, fudge. Um, some dyes in my heart so that way I can uh, they can see you know if there's any issues and they'll fix it right then and there they said so that's good and then if I'm stable hopefully I can leave in a couple days so um, there we go this is obviously I've never showered like this before but this is better than smelling like a hamper of old underwear fresh out the gym. Ah. So, didn't get all the soap. Um, I'll let you see my body. Um, this is getting complicated. So just give me a second. I'm gonna finish my hair and we'll get to the body. So ultimately I just filled this up kind of filled it up with water and I just kind of did this, poured it on my head and rinsed it. Way better. Just fill this up with water for washing your hair. If you uh, have to wash up like this while you're in a hospital. Um, and look at that. See? Water is getting on this. Not on my heart monitor. Um, so I'm just going to dry my face and wash my face and which should also be actually relatively easy. I probably could just do that right now. That should probably be the easiest part. Just kind of just, just go like this, just, you know, rub it in. Let me take this mask off. I didn't even realize I had this mask on somehow. Been wearing it so much. Ah. Uh, 
Now this one, I can't really use that for. This is more like a catch and splash. You catch the water and just splash it on, on your face. So, get the ears, get this ear, little catch and splash, catch it, and splash it on, splash it on. Ah, there you go. catch it, splash it on. So, let me dry off that part and I'm gonna get ready for my body. Parts way, way more tricky. Um, I actually don't even know how this is about to go. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use, I just ripped this in half. I'm gonna put soap up one of these. Um, actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna soap up with my hands. Um, Let's get the nasty parts first. So underarms, you know. Uh, oh, I'm a little tangled up. Let's get the underarms, you know, like that. And then, you know what, I will use this. There you go, I will use this. With a little bit of soap on it. And then just kind of I don't know what that beat was. Just kind of wash up like that. Then just kind of rinse off. Get another one that's just water. And I wipe it down. Just mainly getting rid of the back. Hold on. Holy Christ almighty. All right. Um, 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 um. I have to take a short break. My, actually, I have not nine minutes to get back out there um, before this cuts off, which is connected to this. So I'm gonna be washing up a lot quicker now. So to try and carry this along because I got about nine minutes to do this. So get under here, get it nice and soapy, get under here like that. Mm -hmm. Then just get another one. And this is not my ideal way to shower at all. Um, I'm gonna keep watching it because I have to make sure it does not cut off. So, with like two minutes left, it's not a bomb movie. I'm not waiting to the last two seconds. It's my life, so. Whoa. All right. Just get the main parts first. And now I'm gonna get the privates. But I know those parts smell so horrific. I would feel bad if anybody had to, you know. God forbid they had to go down there for any reason. Um, God forbid. Ooh, that's bad. Um, so, we're just gonna continue to wash that area. Well, whew, the napkin did not look well <coughs> coming out. So, oh boy, it's pretty nasty you know as expected it's a you know the uh, privates aren't your best so this is how you wash up when you are plugged up to mm, smelling better much better because it was not smelling good at all all right I need to get the the gluteus maximus. I'm trying to use the proper terms now that I'm in here. Um, six minutes remaining. So we're making headway. 
six and a half minutes, in case you guys wanted to know exactly. In case some of you guys are trying to do a countdown on when <laughs> something bad's gonna happen to me. I know people rather talk about the bad things and the good things. They're like, oh boy, getting close. It's just a, a thinner, so my blood doesn't clot. Um, but I will 100% make it back out there in time. I will not be waiting for the last second. Six minutes just started. Mm -hmm. That should be nice and clear now. All right, I'm just about done. I'm not gonna try and go too much over my whole body. Um, all right, so I got the, as I like to call the nasty parts. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my legs um, we're super, super quick. Now, honestly, I'm drying off as this is happening. You could believe that. So, I won't actually need to use my shirt to dry off because I'm drying off in real time. Um, so, and I'm watching my, just have to plug it in, it's kind of just, uh, battery operated, and, uh, when it's not plugged in, it uses the battery, like your phone, so that this phone is, uh, my part, so, oh boy, alright, one leg down, one more leg, I might do my arms as well, just super quick. You know, just a super quick gloss over. Make sure I'm nice and uh, clean, right? Ah, all right, as clean as I'm gonna get under the circumstances. Down then. Right. Um it's not bad. So just gonna finish one wipe down of basically everything. Um, lower body I can get a little bit more, it's not really connected lower body, but they told me not to take or get wet any of the stuff above. And so, all right, we're down to three minutes. Really, really cutting it close here. All right, really cutting it down to the, just make sure this is all cleaned out. Um, for sure, and this slow drip, high alert, double check. So my uh, partial sicky, uh, whatever. All right, we're almost done. Just gonna do one arm. This other arm is just too. It's just too. You know, it's just too much. This other arm just has so much attached to it and I can barely move, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clean this one arm, put some soap on there, clean it. My back as best as I can. Um, so you know I got everything minus oh boy. I got it so far. I've washed everything, uh, minus the, ah, uh, boy, all right, minus face, neck, and I think that's the best we're going to get, so, uh, what time we got left, we got, we got, we got one minute, 35 seconds, so one minute, 35 seconds, put our underwear on, 
Underwear. Shorts. And alright. Deodorant. Anti anti person right here. Little rub. Little anti anti person. Rub that on. Boom. 55 seconds. We are cutting it close. Sheesh. We'll leave all this stuff in here for now. Oh. I'm gonna get out this thing on. Make sure that we stay all right. Little washcloths. They can stay in here. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and plug this in. It's been saved. Um, sounds good. I'm gonna call just to make sure. Better shape, put some lotion on. We'll go from there. I made it. I'm live, obviously. Um, it did get pretty low. Um, but yeah, I'm all good. The nurse came, checked on me, and whatnot. Um, I gave him pain medicine for my jaw, thankfully because it's starting to wear off. And, uh, um, I chewed it because I thought it would get through faster and now the taste might be worse than the pain. So definitely never do that. But it's a learning experience. So Steph will be here soon with food. Um, I don't know when they're bringing food. It is almost... Well, it's, hmm. it's almost 12, so she should be here soon. Or the lunch will be here soon, one day or the other. For now, I'm just gonna relax for a little. Mm. It's not bad lunch right here. Nice. Give them some bread, water, obviously. Nighttime now. Um, day three, almost no day two. Um, tonight just finished dinner. Uh, another needle stick, it's looking better. Levels are dropping, so hopefully by tomorrow I'll be all stable, and then I can leave on Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Uh, then I'm on bed rest for another two days, and then no working out for a month. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Watching Mike and Molly. It's keeping me entertained. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brushing my teeth. <laughs> Today is procedure day. So. my teeth today's procedure day we're gonna do our procedure day three and if i'm all good at the procedure then i should be able to go home and just be on bed rest instead of being on bed rest here i'd rather just if i have to lie still and not do anything i'd rather do it at home than here so procedure day today they'll let me know what's going on and we'll go from there so the procedure went process Successfully, I'm on bed rest right now. Um, yeah, so. Just yeah, all this orange stuff on my hand. 
they stuck a cord all the way up my arm to my heart and it was fine so just starving i am just starving and ready to go um but now i gotta be like an old man i gotta get <laughs> i go to the doctor like five six times a year every year for the rest of my life so whatever i'd rather get ahead of it early so I'm just watching this show called old people and basically it's a spirit that takes over them and um, causes them to kill so yeah I'm just waiting for the food now day three so um, like I said you know the procedure went well um, and everything um, the owls are clear he kind of scared me because he was like you know, we gotta sign his consent before we start the procedure. There's a one in 800 chance that obviously you could die or whatnot. And I'm like, ah, don't even tell me that. Then he said, if something goes wrong and we have to try and save you, you know, there's three options. I forgot the second one, this, but one of them was open heart surgery. He said, you know, I'm like, it probably won't lead to that because I'm not that messed up. He said, our stents, which is like one in 200 chance. And I'm like, oh my God. So I signed for both of them, but luckily we didn't have to come to it. Um, but now I'm super starving, so I need food. So I got the food, and I, because I did miss breakfast, um, I made a play to get more. So this is the Sloppy Joes right here. But I hid my first platter. Now I got two platters. <laughs> Everything's off of me now. Nothing on the chest, stomach. Nothing here. IV's out. This is out. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. A total of 10 sticks today. This, since I've been in the hospital three days 10 blood draws so now i have to i'm waiting for stephanie to come pick me up and then i have to just sit at home um all week I'm not allowed to move at all so oh boy um yeah so safety first so about an hour two hours i'm gonna get out of here and uh that is, I mean, you can look at that too. Look at that, like, ah, a lot of some blood. That's where they, this is where they went in. They went all the way down my arm, all the way to the heart to take a peek, see what's going on. Sorry, I looked to shovel once again. Um, I wasn't even allowed to shower. I had to shower, you saw how I had to do that. Oh, I didn't show you today's, well, cause I didn't shower today because I'm gonna be going home. Um, so it's, it's good. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, this is the life of being sick, you know, in the hospital. So it turns out I actually had myocarditis, which you saw earlier, which is inflammation of the outer lining of the heart. I could be saying it's wrong. And then peri cartitis which is inflammation of the muscle so the muscle and like the outer layer like the skin layer were both inflamed um by the infection so i had two things um but it's okay now I'm healthy body i'm back back to me i just gotta do a lot of cardiologist appointments going forward for the rest of my life you know more doctor visits which is fine uh, i'll just be ahead of anything that happens you know before it happens so uh don't
I appreciate you because I, I wouldn't know where to go. Hmm? I appreciate you. <laughs> and get me this is the place out of here all right i'm gonna get home take a fresh shower yes and uh thank you for watching my uh re my recovery my uh hospital admitted so don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you next time Peace.